From Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the S&P 500. And as you can see, the S&P 500 has continued to struggle against the 3100 level again on Wednesday. We really don't have anywhere to be right now. When you get an impulsive move like we've had, you want to see one of two things happen. Either sideways killing the clock, killing time kind of thing, grinding and, and digesting the uh, gains or you want to see a pullback so those are my two theses that i'm working with right now if we do break above 3100 then you know we'll probably go to 32 based upon the ascending triangle but i think there's a lot of value to be had right around 3030 down to 3000 would love to see an opportunity there uh, nasdaq 100 kind of the same thing my area down there is closer to 8000 this is a market that's overextended very sensitive to the U.S. China situation. So, if we do break out to the upside, it'll probably have something to do with good news in the trade war.